Okay, here we go again, my favorite pet pee. Um, these people that uh, choose to fight for homeless or choose to be homeless or whatever. Uh, this guy, uh, like in Halifax, we know all across Canada, they're all heading toward Halifax because they got generators, they got lights, they got food, they have CTV Atlantic News right beside them and uh, they'll let it known across Canada to go to Halifax. All the Met heads go there, they will take care of you. And plus they have, you know, I don't know if they have rights, but they're treated very good in Halifax. Now, that's CTV Atlantic. Here, CBC News, which they haven't covered this for, for a while, uh, they're starting. And just bullshit. Even those who are living rough on the street, people were also asked how they ended up homeless. And to no surprise, the uh, cost of living. Greg Bishop from the St. John Human Development Council. Never heard of it. This guy is a liar. A pure liar. So they asked, how come the issue of truth to be homeless is so what? Let's put this back here. Listen to this. Fake People news. were also asked how they ended up homeless. And to no surprise, the uh, cost of living, the uh, increase in rent has featured into uh, the results. So over 70% of our respondents identified not having enough income or the rents being too high. 70% of the people surveyed said the rent is too high and they don't make enough money? Never said. Well, they don't pay the rent. They refuse to pay the rent. 70%? Hold it. Calm down, Charles. I never watched the whole thing here. As part of their uh, homelessness uh, reasonings. Choose to be homeless. And also part of their barriers to finding new housing. Also, uh, family conflict, uh, spousal, or... Family conflict? Who the hell wants a met head in their building? Landlord conflict also featured as a significant... Landlord conflict. You don't pay the rent, you don't go by rules, you destroy the area, and you're supposed to be allowed to stay in that building? Uh, reason for housing loss. Are there any solutions on the horizon? Is there something that New Brunswickers might be hopeful, might materialize to make a difference? Fortunately, there's been a lot of containment measures. We have seen an increase in uh, shelter capacity out of the cold. Uh, there's new drop-in hubs, outreach program. You notice this clown never mentions drugs? Never once. It's increased amounts of funding, which has allowed people to remain safe while still being homeless. Uh, unfortunately, some of these solutions do take time. If we're going upstream, if we're talking about prevention, uh, if we're talking about new builds, all of these things take time. But starting with a data-informed strategy uh, certainly is helpful. Altogether, 687 people were counted as experiencing absolute homelessness across Moncton, Fredericton, St. John, Bathurst, Miramichi, St. Stephen, and Edmonston. And 75% of them said... Does that look like somebody that didn't pay the rent? I mean, suddenly, suddenly because of high rent and high inflation, they're homeless? They had been homeless for at least six months in the past year. Atlantic Canada now has its... Had a, had a girl, Rachel Cave. You're doing very good. Not. Um, how come they don't? How come they don't talk about drugs? How come they refuse to say the issue that people are homeless is because of crystal meth? 
Why do I get involved in these things? DOG, come and calm me down.